Hey guys, what's up? Mike McDonald here, just coming out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. In uh, today's video, I just wanted to cover some different tips uh, that I've learned from one of the recent books I'm reading. Kind of basically like a mental game plan that you want to go through uh, before you have like a you know presentation or before you meet with someone to you know show them your product or your opportunity. Um, great book I'm reading right now. It's uh, the One Minute Salesperson, and it's cool. Just a lot of different tips I've been learning so far. A lot of it's just about like adding value to people, and that's kind of an overall concept that you want to focus on too. Um, where a lot of times people they go into you know a sale or a presentation and just thinking about you know that person as a dollar sign or thinking about you know what they're gonna get out of it by selling that product or that next promotion or that next commission and um, you're gonna get pretty frustrated doing that if you're looking at people like a dollar sign it just it doesn't work <laughs> you know they can sense that and you want to lead from value um, so it's cool the the first little part um, in the book so far I've been reading it just talks about kind of a mental game plan that you can go through um, before making a sale and the first thing that you want to do um, is just going through you know thinking about what advantages um, is your product or service gonna have for that person kind of put that yourself in their shoes and think about how your product or service is gonna help them because people don't like being sold but people love to buy so it's like you know if you can provide that value to them and how your product and service is going to improve their life and have the end goal of them feeling better about purchasing your product and feeling satisfied that's kind of the the goal that you want so the first thing is to put yourself in their shoes and think about how they're going to benefit or be excited about buying your product because it's going to help them um, the next thing that you want to do is do like a mental um, picture or like think out loud or the words that they're going to say or you're going to say um, to have a successful result um, in that sales process. I know I'm guilty of it too. A lot of times you'll go into a sale um, thinking about the last time you showed someone your product or service and you're bummed out or you know maybe you've got a lot of no's in a row recently, whatever the case is, and you go into that sale thinking like that, you're just going to attract that negativity and they're going to sense that and you're not going to be as confident. You're not going to have the energy and enthusiasm that you should um, to be successful and make that sale or help that person. Um, so you want to have that mental rehearsal of going through exactly what you do want to happen um, before you go through that sale. And the next thing is just provide that value to them, you know, have it so they're excited about purchasing your product or service um, because of the benefit that they're going to get from it. So if you go through and you do that game plan of yourself, you know, maybe it takes a minute, whatever, a little rehearsal of how you want it to come out positively, um, what put yourself in their shoes, what they think that they're going to benefit from, uh, from your product or service, and then making sure that they have that end result, that they're happy and just kind of go for that goal that they're satisfied and excited about buying your product. I mean, think of it when we buy a product or a service that, you know, we've researched or we thought about or we see how it can benefit our lives. Like when you go out and purchase that thing, you're excited about doing that. So you want to create that same feeling um, with your new person or customer or potential customer that you're showing. Um, you want to have them have that same end result of being excited about buying your product and service or that they're happy that they did. So if you can kind of focus on those three things, before you go into a uh, you know sales presentation, you're going to have a lot more success and better results doing that. Um, so that's just one little tidbit I, I took out of the you know the one minute salesperson book. So I'd highly recommend checking that out. But uh, yeah, if you guys found value in this video, please comment and share. Uh, subscribe to my channel, and then uh, if you are in network marketing or direct sales and you have your own home business, maybe you're struggling with you know generating leads for your business, or maybe you're focused on just offline and you want to get into online and learn how to do that effectively, um, click on the link in the description below and just fill out your name and email for access to a totally free training on how you can generate more leads online or develop a sex successful business um, in the online realm. So definitely check that out and click on the link in the description below. But appreciate everybody's time and uh, we'll look forward to talking to you more soon.